How's it going, guys? We're back for some more design patterns. My name is Matt. You're watching Code Tech and Tutorials. Don't forget to like and subscribe for code content. We got a lot of these design patterns to still visit. So let's visit today the facade pattern. And we're going to continue with our repo uh, here using CMake. And I added a facade folder up here. All right. So what we have here with the facade pattern, I'll explain briefly, is basically when you have some sort of interface and you decide to kind of simplify it uh, with the interface on top of that interface, and that's why it's called a facade. This is very common to the adapter. The big difference is usually the adapter is trying to uh, fit it to a certain situation for another interface, uh, whereas a facade is just kind of making a simpler use case directly. Uh, but we'll talk about the adapter next episode because this is they're often the same thing even they're often both nearly the same and can be interchanged all right so we got a main.cpp and we got a facade.h now what i was thinking here is we'll take uh the factory two remember back in the day we made factory two this this old repo and we have this armor so armor has a base type here with a uh, virtual override of dawn armor so there's this armor we have heavy armor we have medium we have light now, essentially, these three classes here are the interface right now. We just instantiate whichever one. So that's the interface. So let's make a facade over this heavy armor, um, just as a quick example. So we got our previous interface that we want to over... Uh, I almost said override, but that's not the right terminology. We want a facade over. So we want, like, essentially, it'll be kind of an armor builder, you would almost call it at this point, or whatever you want it to be. Because essentially, that's what this does. It, it just makes armor well and instantiates armor into your memory so in one way or another it does make armor but of course you would adapt this to your objects for your thing for whatever you're doing um that's always the tricky part about explaining these is uh you gotta adapt it to your stuff right all right well i guess it's not that tricky all right so we're gonna include armor we gotta we're gonna do this all in the facade include back a directory factory to armor.h so we have all that stuff at the ready. And then we're just going to make a new class. And we'll just call this, uh, I guess I could call it Armor Facade. But that's kind of a terrible name. It'll be, I almost want to call it Armor Builder. But I feel like that's going to get confused with some other uh, pattern. But essentially this kind of would be almost a, a front end to a, it's a, well I guess it's a facade over a factory. So it's still kind of a factory but i'm just gonna call it like armor builder facade so yeah we'll just put all all that in there that that long okay so uh, let's work in here for a bit we got private stuff we got public stuff uh we need to decide what we want publicly and privately uh publicly let's see and privately well i think privately we just want the different types of armor so we're gonna go so now anytime we want one of these we want to be able to just call a public function here and do it. So let's uh, let's make our default constructor here and our default constructor. Actually, let's even make these pointers. And the default construct is, well, we just want to instantiate these. And that's really it in this way. So now when we want armor, we can just basically call this and uh, do whatever operation we want. So we need to make the public operations here um that abstracted away like we'll just make a let's do this i guess is there any function let's see what's private here in public let's look at our armor one time uh this this string here is public the armor type so we can always get that out of these armors we can always just grab that string and uh that's what we want to make automatic get uh heavy armor and we would just go Heavy armor, armor type. This is a very contrived example, as you might expect. So what's it complaining about here? No suitable conversion from string to, oh, string pointer, sure. All right. Then we essentially want to do the same thing for the rest of these. Yeah, I guess I'll just put it in here. It's no real shortcut in it. Very contrived example, considering we're just returning a string of the type. We could, you know, essentially make a... Uh, just a string builder that does something even more simple. And that's just because armor doesn't do anything in our example. It literally just has a string. But if it had more stuff in here, you would work it up accordingly in your facade. Like if you needed uh, special cases, you could you could make it construct properly. If you wanted it, these honestly should have something like at least an amount of armor or something. 
uh, about them, but all they got right now is armor type. So that's why this is so simple and so contrived. So hopefully that resolves most of the questions I'm going to get right off the bat. Like, why are you just instantiating something to return a string? Okay, you get it. But that's essentially a facade. You just put an interface over something. So let's make a main here. I've already got the file included. Just a client end. Uh, client test, sure. So instead of including armor now, since we're, we got a facade of it, it's armor builder facade, and we don't even know about this armor class. That's, that's kind of one of the points there. It just, uh, you don't even need to know about the other thing. I'm going to call it ABF and yeah, that'll default instantiate right there. And, uh, we'll make all these. Now, of course, this needs a destructor because otherwise we're going to we're going to run into troubles uh, with memory leaks here because obviously we're making these pointers or setting up this memory when we construct this class. We don't have anything telling this to clear when we're done. Uh, we could also get around that by just making these unique pointers and they'll do that automatically. But instead, I'm going to stick with the classic form and just make a destructor that destructs them when we're done. And the easiest way to do that is just call delete on all these, on all these pointers. There we go. Now we could make this a little better. Uh, for example, we could uh, make sure these are not null before we call delete. And we could also set them to null, like heavy armor equals null pointer. So yeah, uh, aside, also not just delete, but we could also set them to null. We could also check that they're not null before going through this whole process. So this could be a little better as the point, but I'm not gonna put all that in here for simplicity's sake, but uh, at least you know. All right. Well, I think that pretty much works up the facade. Um, yeah, if you if you get to this and try this out, try doing this with a unique pointer and notice that you don't need this destructor anymore. Uh, that's kind of where I was going. Oh, yeah, I guess we should actually uh, do a proper example here. Let's just include IO stream so we can get an output real quick. And standard and see out. Now let's just do all the different armor types. Uh, all right, and we'll just copy this down. And just do all of them, get medium armor, just confirm that it builds them correctly and gets the right stuff. So this is essentially a little unit test that we're just doing with the console visuals, which is a terrible long-term plan, but hey, it works in a quick pinch just to make sure you got the right results. All right, and uh, now we're going to go to our CMake stuff down here. I just kind of enabled the default stuff that popped up uh, for... Uh, Visual Studio and enabled CMake and the Visual Studio C++. Visual Studio Code. I mean, this is Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to set this uh, build to, well, let's see what we got here. We should have a new one here. Or facade. Oh, okay. No, we don't yet. I still need to add it to, let's see. We'll go over my CMake real quick. We have a very top level one. This has a version and a project. And then it adds subdirectory design patterns. So it goes into this folder. Looks at the top one here. This is where we add all our little examples. So we need to add facade here because that's the new folder we added that has a new CMake. So now our new executable should show up after things refresh and it looks like Visual Studio auto refreshed. So there we go. Switch that to facade. Let's hit run and we should see our armor types and the hit run. It's just this little arrow down here where you can do it as I did in the previous episodes through the console. And there we go. We got heavy, medium, light as expected. These are very frequently put over libraries. Like for example, when I work on my game engine and I bring in a library, I'm usually making my own front end of their library essentially. And that's essentially a facade or sometimes an adapter. Talk about adapter in the next episode. So uh, stay tuned and uh, thank you guys. Appreciate all your input, feedback, support, all that stuff. Let me know your comments on uh, facades. Are there other ways to do them? I'm sure there are, because there's a static way as well, as well. This is just a very, like I said a million times, a contrived example. But I uh, hope that helps you, you understand the facade pattern if you're trying to understand it. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.